today I'm going to prepare from Trader Joe's are these salmon pinwheels and they're Mediterranean style with spinach and feta. So let's get started. First I'm going to line the baking sheet with foil. This step is not necessary but I'm going to do it just in case any juices or anything come out on the pan. One last thing for me to wash. So now I'm going to take each pinwheel and wrap it in parchment paper with slices of lemon. I place the salmon on one side of the parchment paper because I am going to fold it and crease the parchment paper into a pocket. Okay, now I'm going to place the lemon slices on top of the salmon. Fold the parchment paper over in half and start folding the parchment into a pocket. Let me back it up so you can see. No rhyme or reason, just folding, twisting, folding, twisting, folding, twisting. And I keep doing that until I get to the end. Not pretty, but it doesn't have to be. And here I will repeat the steps with the next pinwheel. Place the pinwheel on one half of the parchment paper on one side. Place lemon slices on top of the salmon. Fold the parchment paper in half. Go from one corner and just twist and fold all the way around. Place both pockets on a cookie sheet. Place in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. To prepare the mushrooms and green beans, take a few cloves of garlic. Right here I have six cloves of garlic but they're small so you can use two to three regular sized cloves if that's what you wish chop them it doesn't have to be perfect Now place your garlic in a bowl and set them aside. In a medium nonstick cooking skillet, turn your oven on to medium and get your pan hot and ready for the mushrooms. Today I am using Baby Bella sliced mushrooms. But you can use uh, white button mushrooms or any mushrooms that you prefer. Add some olive oil to the pan. It's probably about two tablespoons. Wait for your pan to get really hot. And in order to know that your pan is getting hot, your olive oil will start to ripple in the pan. Okay, the pan feels nice and hot. Place your mushrooms in the pan. Don't be afraid. And next, I will add salt and pepper. Once your mushrooms are in the pan, 
stir them around. So they get nice and coated with the olive oil. Next, I'm going to add salt and pepper. We will season as we go. So today I'm using the black Hawaiian salt. You can use any salt that you prefer. Stir them around. And let them cook for a few minutes, probably about five or six minutes, until they start getting some color. Once your mushrooms have caramelized and reduced in size, then we place in a bowl and set aside. To cook your green beans, turn your pan on to medium. Place some olive oil in the pan. About a tablespoon. Place your fresh, washed, and trimmed green beans in the pan. Add salt and pepper. Let them cook for about five minutes. Now that the green beans have a little bit of color on them, you sauteing, add a splash of water, put a lid, and let them steam for about three to four minutes. Once the green beans are done steaming and they're soft, add mushrooms. Back in the pan. There you go. Continue to heat them together for just a few minutes. And still heated back up together. For just a little while, add the garlic. Stir it around. Add just a little bit more salt and pepper. Then take a few pats of butter. a little bit. Let that melt into the beans and mushrooms. Once your butter is all stirred in and melted, the beans are done. Wow, don't these look delicious? Once 
Once your salmon is done, take them out of the oven and let them rest for about one to two minutes. Okay, it's been about two minutes to let them rest. Unwrap. Ooh. They look done. Take your cooked salmon out of the parchment with the spatula and place on a plate. And there you have it, a quick weeknight meal. Bon appetit! Okay, I'm going to take a bite. Mm. So good. So fresh. Mm. Okay. You try this recipe, you let me know. Thank you for watching.